Hey guys, it's Robert Francis. I know, I know, I need a shave. Um, today is on the uh, source of my schizophrenia suffering. It's source. Where does it come from? But before I uh, get to that topic, please allow me to engage in my prelude. Uh, this is my On Conquering Schizophrenia YouTube channel. My name is Robert Francis. This is my jib right here for reasons of medical confidentiality. Um, I've been a licensed clinical social worker for 15 years, and I've had schizophrenia for a score in five. That's 25 years, and that puts a little gray fleck in my beard. Thank you for joining me. The, so the, source, the source of my suffering from schizophrenia. You know, when I was first diagnosed in my 20s, it took me a long time. <clears throat> I used to, when you're having paranoia and delusions, you're awful. You often think that people are out to get you, or people don't like you, or people are out to hurt you, etc., cetera, et cetera. And, and you think it's other people that are the cause of your, your sufferings. But what I've learned over time is the longer that you live with schizophrenia, the more you realize that it's not other people that cause you to have distressing feelings and distressing thoughts. It's more within your own head, your delusions, your voices, things that make you paranoid, those kind of things mostly reside between my two, my own two, year, uh, two ears and really has little to do with the way that other people treat me or behave towards me. And when you realize that, that other people aren't the source of your sufferings, it makes you want to get to work on your own problems so that you can resolve your conflicts in your mind, resolve your delusions in your own mind, um, and uh, proceed from there. So, you know, um, it, it, it's helpful to realize that the source of all this usually, I mean, not always, not universally, but, you know, it's not the other people causing me the dismay. It's uh, my own perceptions and my own cognitions. And so realizing that has really helped me to stay, be able to stay uh, very social around other people. That's it for today. Forgot to show you the bird. There you go. Go Red Sox. Keep the faith. Keep the light burning. We'll see you next time. Thanks.